Hey everyone, it's Greg006. We're back out here today with a new finished up build. It's a tricopter um, made of uh, 1 8 plywood sheet. Got the half inch wooden arms from Home Depot. These are Aussie Timer CF 28, 22, 14, 12, 1200 KV motors. Uh, the pack is a 3S 22 MAH uh, Turner G LiPo, uh, about 40C. Uh, the radio is the same, Spectrum DX6i. The uh, speed controller is a 30 amp RC timer. I'm trying a new format today with uh, this camera. It's uh, a little bit different. Kodak, uh, little guy, it seems to take a little bit more of a more of a zoom than the GoPro because GoPro seems to put everything out in a distance and it's getting kind of. Uh, to me, it's just a little bit far away. But hopefully, you get a good view of this one. And. Um, We'll give you a little test flight out here in the yard. Let's uh, try to accomplish a couple things on this frame. The uh, everything I, w I wanted it to be down for, and uh, motors on the bottom level with the battery kind of in the same plane as the motors. That way it keeps the weight in, all in the same, all in the same plane. Keeps that bottom flat, looking kind of clean. Uh, I don't like a lot of stuff dangling underneath, unless uh, we're doing something specific. But uh, what do you call it? We'll give you a quick test flight of this guy. And we'll see how it goes. Also, want to try a new tail setup uh, with the servo inboard and the uh, and the tail kind of hanging off. Let's see if you can see that. These props are also uh, gem fan. Uh, the carbon filled one. I actually had some nice green props that were matching, but gave uh, pretty pathetic performance. Unfortunately, I think they were too flexy or didn't know what was going on. But these these uh, these. These props are great. They transformed it pretty much and uh, made it flyable. Um, we'll let's take it up here and see how it goes. Hopefully, you can out see all this. Yes, I turned on the radio last. Sorry. Ah, much better. Took it out last night. Real windy. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, didn't really, didn't really have great, uh, great experience with it. Did handle it pretty well, but wasn't really, uh, wasn't really a fun flight. This is nice out here today. Yeah, not bad at all. Hopefully, you can see this and. Uh, You know, the videos should be a little bit little bit better, a little bit more zoomed. Not much breeze going out here right now. A little every once in a while. Handles it no problem. Get a little close up. It's weird flying this frame for the first time. The orientation is kind of, kind of vague. You get used to it, I guess. But so far, so good. Probably getting about seven, seven, eight minutes on the 2200. Just lazing around pretty much, nothing crazy. This has some pretty good pop. 
can save itself, which is nice. Hang out in the park a little. I'm kind of happy with this, I think. Not bad. Small frame is kind of kind of tough for orientation at far distances, but back here and we out front a little bit, it should be pretty good. Also, the purpose of this build was to not actually buy anything. All this stuff is left over from other builds and uh, I didn't want to actually make any additional purchases and actually accomplish building the smallest smallest uh, multi-rotor I possibly could with what I had available. So it was going to be a try and uh, it was going to be 8 inch props and uh, that's about the smallest I can come up with as far as a try and uh, 8 inch props. I'm sure someone can, someone can get something smaller on that combo but but as far as I'm concerned, this is this is about what I, best I can do. Pain in the neck packing 330 amp speed controls into something that small. It is overkill, but uh, it was just you know a little goal I set for myself there. But it seems to work out pretty good. I'll bring it in. And we land it on the table. Not too bad. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, take care everyone.